it's, it's been a pretty solidly long day. Uh, I, I, hope, I hope you agree it's been a good day, um, but it's a solid and long day. Um, and in just a minute, we'll, I, am, I know I'm standing between you and the reception um, and, and the Gordon Beersh beer and the wine, but a couple of things. There's an evaluation form. Please fill it out if you haven't already. And I want you to answer one more question on it than we've asked. We know that the dates that we could do this during this year will be some, next year, this time will be sometime in June, a Thursday or a Friday. Do you have a preference for Thursday or Friday? And we're not sure what we'll be able to do, but write down an answer to the question, do you prefer Thursday or Friday for an event like this um, among, among you, and put it on the back, back of your, uh, your feedback form. Um, thank, uh, a little uh, public service announcement. Apparently there is a torch run Olympic torch run that's going up El Camino Real. And about the time that people are done, if you don't enjoy the reception, if you go right out, you may run into some very bad traffic on El Camino Real. So if you're going to go out, you might want to avoid Galvez and going towards Town and Country Village and go up Palm Drive. But even a better solution is stay for a while in the reception and, and, and enjoy, enjoy that. Uh, I'd like to just give thanks to a couple of people. Again, thank you to the sponsors because you make it possible for doing that. So thank you very much. We, we've had many volunteers. We have about 40 student volunteers around there and, and their names are uh, uh, I'm not going to go through all the names, but there's a list at the registration table. Most of them, as I indicated earlier, will be on the job market before long, so you may want to pick this up for job market prospects, but I want to thank them very much for their efforts. There's some staff that's put in tremendous amount of work, and um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to generously tell them uh, they should take the rest of the day off. Uh, and in the back, Amna Nazir, right there. <laughs> Alisa Taylor. Not exactly staff, but the videographer, Justin Warren, and is back. And you've seen Steve Costello going around taking photographs right down here, so thank you, Steve. And I want to call a, a one special person up, uh, Michael Killen. Well, I want to thank, as he's walking up, I want to thank the speakers. You know, you can't have a conference or a summit without, that is of any quality without quality speakers. And so thank you, the speakers, for for what you've done, I really appreciate that. <laughs> but if you look around, it's not just the speakers. This is an amazing audience. I mean, look around, this is the best networking location I can think of if you're interested in energy. And, and because uh, sitting in the audience is a, treme a tremendous number of people who are the movers and shakers around here? Uh, CEOs of companies, uh, ex-government officials, uh, academic leaders. It's made the exchange really, really uh, importantly. And finally, I'd like to thank something that I think we don't have, any of the other conferences have as our artists, not exactly in residence, but uh, uh, Mike Killen, who's provided some very spectacular and striking artwork, and he's agreed to Limit to a minute, uh, just some last comments before I say the last word. Mike. Michael. Thank you. I'm Michael Killen, and Jim certainly leads with the Energy Summit. I want to share, I'm on a mission, and the mission is to help California lead 
in addressing climate change. Some of you know this, some of you don't. I have a special talent. I paint the great developments and thoughts of our times. I paint the policies of the state of California. And I do it in a way, or I attempt to do it in a way that has a great impact. For example, you and just about everyone in this state has a mix of the qualities of Don Quixote. This man challenged me to tap into the story of Don Quixote to do some more good in this state. In the lobby is a painting called Don Quixote Meets Climate Change. I hope you take a look at it. I'll be out there to, to interpret it for you. Also, I heard George Schultz say he learned a lot about water. There is a second painting out there where Don Quixote, Quixote joins the great water challenge battle of this state. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Hey, thank you. And so finally, I'd like to invite, thank you all for coming and participating. Put on your calendar, Block off all of June of next year, as sometime it's going to be in June, either Thursday or Friday. And right now we have a reception, reception out back, uh, wine, cheer, um, wine, beer, uh, little foods, drink responsibly, but uh, do avoid the traffic on El Camino and, and do some more networking. Thank you.